Hi there. Today I'm going to talk about how organizations are evolving their security maturity and how Burp Suite can support you on that journey. You've probably heard people talking about things like DevSecOps, security automation, and shifting left. In software development, a traditional waterfall approach involved four distinct phases, design, build, test, and deploy. Many new projects or major updates used to take months or even years to progress through these phases. Very often, security testing was left right until the very end. The whole agile and DevOps revolution has transformed software development to use shorter development cycles, automated testing, and continuous delivery of updates. And DevSecOps is about applying the lessons of Agile to security by bringing security testing earlier in the development process. In terms of the traditional waterfall model, DevSecOps involves shifting security to the left. And this axis of testing early versus testing late is one way to measure the security maturity of an organization. Higher security maturity means doing security testing earlier, using more automation in security testing, and embedding good security practice through the development process. And there are good reasons for doing all of this. Testing early saves money. Fixing a bug in late testing or even after deployment can cost tens or even hundreds of times as much as fixing it in early testing. Security automation can remove the bottlenecks and gates that security can impose in the delivery process so you can take your code into production faster. And teaching your developers about security issues as they're coding can help them to avoid security bugs and write more secure code in the first place. So where do you sit on the security maturity spectrum? I used to be a penetration tester and I saw all kinds of crazy things, like being brought in to test a new single sign-on application that was going to receive sessions from an external system. We arrived on site, ready to test the app, and it wasn't quite ready. They were just bringing it up, ready for us to test. So they said, while you're waiting, why don't you read the design documentation, which we did. On page two, we found a glaring security weakness that was fundamental to the design. We waited for an hour, the system came up, straight away we were able to exploit it and bypass all of the security controls. And this was a system that had spent months in development and was now supposed to be ready to launch. All the time when an application was almost ready to go live and security testing was scheduled for the last minute, we were due to come in the week before on a Monday, they weren't quite ready, just ironing out a few loose ends, come in on the Tuesday, still weren't ready, went through the week, can you come in on the Friday and do your penetration test so that we can launch on Monday? Well, it was supposed to be two people for five days and we've only got one day left. So maybe you can send four people and do a monster day, test six in the morning till six in the evening, which we did. And that evening we were still reporting serious security bugs in an application that was supposed to go live on the Monday. And these might be extreme examples, but this kind of thing does still happen quite a lot. In fact, most organizations occupy a region of the maturity spectrum, not a single point. They have different teams going at different speeds or different levels of security awareness. They maybe have various legacy apps that have to be dealt with in a different way. Hardly anyone is at the extreme left of doing pure DevSecOps. For most people, that is still an aspiration. And even if you are doing DevSecOps, there are still good reasons for testing late as well, maybe even in production. There are issues that arise from environmental configuration that will only emerge and be visible quite late on in the deployment process. There are whole classes of vulnerability which are infrastructure dependent, things like caching vulnerabilities and HTTP request smuggling. And if your application is a mashup that pulls in third party code components at runtime, the only real way to know what is executing is to run the live application. But if you are doing DevSecOps, then you should expect fewer surprises in your late testing. 
As well as the security maturity axis, we can also plot a vertical axis reflecting the size of the team or your organization or the web estates that you own. The bottom right is the home of traditional penetration testing, generally using Burp Suite Professional. Pen testing doesn't scale efficiently because you need people to do it. So it's expensive to do pen testing at the top right when you're very big. Instead, for scanning at scale, you can use Burp Suite Enterprise Edition. The Enterprise Edition uses the same scanner as Burp Suite Professional, which is trusted by penetration testers. It has a flexible agent model that lets you scan 10 or 100 or 1,000 plus applications. And you can automate and schedule everything. It gives you a clear view of your security posture and is a safety net that is always running in the background. Scanning at scale is great, but the most exciting thing about Burp Suite Enterprise Edition is that it can enable you to shift left and embrace DevSecOps. Enterprise Edition can be embedded in CI so you can trigger scans automatically from your pipelines. Engineers tell us that security testing can't slow down development, and the key to that is getting fast feedback. Enterprise Edition integrates with your existing tool chains. You can kick off scans directly from CI, you can view details of vulnerabilities in your build logs, and you can automatically file JIRA tickets. Engineers tell us they don't want more audit reports and they don't want another portal they have to log into to go and see vulnerability information. It's vital that security works with and around the existing development tools and processes, not the other way around. Burp Scanner finds the bugs. It's been battle hardened for over a decade by tens of thousands of penetration testers. Security teams tell us they can't afford to lose the goodwill and the attention of their engineers by bombarding them with false positives like you often get from static analysis testing tools. Burp has extremely high signal to noise ratio, so you can rely on its findings without overwhelming your engineers with bogus issues. Burp gives you detailed evidence for the vulnerabilities that it reports. You can identify the application function, the entry point, sometimes the line of code where the vulnerability exists. This lets developers get straight down to fixing vulnerabilities when they arise. You can deploy Enterprise Edition easily and quickly with minimal setup. This lets your engineers get on with engineering so they don't have to waste time administering another complex system. We've seen that most organizations occupy a range of the maturity spectrum with different teams and applications moving at different speeds. And as your security maturity evolves, Enterprise Edition can support you on that journey as you progressively transition from scanning at scale to DevSecOps. As your security maturity evolves, individual teams and applications will move from being tested late on a schedule to being tested early within CICD. And Enterprise Edition will give you an overall view of your security posture, including teams and applications with different levels of maturity. Do get in touch to talk about your organization's security maturity journey and how we can help. And if you'd like to see for yourself how Burp Suite Enterprise Edition can help you achieve DevSecOps, please do apply for a free trial on our website. Thank you very much.